always watching the internet's most passionate family, that Ray's family, and in this video, we don't come with hair at all. <laughs> Good morning from my crazy hair and crazy face. We are cleaning up and getting going to start getting ready for the day. Sadie's helping me put stuff away. And it's another hot one in the Pacific, Pacific, Pacific Northwest. Is that where we live? Yes. But it's a scorcher. What happens <laughs> if it was a hundred degrees? We would probably pass out. Million? That we would die. <laughs> Infinity? That's not possible. Thank goodness. But anyways, let's keep cleaning so you can get ready for the day. I am just cleaning out these little, like, hole, they're not holes, about, like little tuck things from the... What is this called? Anyways, Crumbs? they get like little crumbs in there, and I'm just trying to like clean it all out so they can look like that. Oh, not like that, because you want to get those crumbs off. Like this? Like that one. That one's perf. This one, not so perf. Not so perf. Let's get them like this. This is terrible. Oh, we got to fix that more. What are you doing to my couch? This is terrible. Okay, this one is the worst, boys and girls, and ladies and gentlemen. Ah! <laughs> He's got to clean, clean, clean. That's terrible. Okay, let's clean. Okay, that's clean. See when we're done? Yeah. I went into my bathroom to get ready for the day, and I was like, I'm going to curl my hair, get ready, and obviously, no. Didn't happen. It's just way too warm, and buns forever. Like, fun life. <laughs> I promise I'm going to comb my hair on possibly Friday and Saturday for sure, for the 4th, but sorry, I'm just throwing something out the way it's stuck on my foot. So, I will have my hair done sometime this month, but today and tomorrow we're just going to keep up with the bun life. What's up, homegirls? How are you guys doing? Bun life forever? Bun life. Hello, we are going to make some dinner. Are you guys hungry? Yeah. What are you hungry for? Uh, Water. <laughs> I'm making for the first time Laura Vitale's creamy avocado pasta. And then we're just going to saute, saute some chicken on the front side. So I have all the ingredients here. And I don't have a food processor fancy dancy like she does. So I'm just going to use my blender. I think it should work okay. But I do want to get a pro food processor because you need it for so many recipes and but maybe I don't need it if this will work so we'll see what happens can I help you can we really have no after dinner maybe I'll pray about it for after and dinner me and have after you're already planning your after dinner snacks but that's just candy Belle I love candy. <gasps> put it away no no so let's see how this turns out um do you guys want to come along in the process let me see if I can set something up so I can record so I have my pot of water ready to boil the pasta, and then I'm doubling the recipe since there's uh, like more of us. So I have two avocados. So I got the two avocados in there, and next is the cloves of garlic. So recipe calls for two, double that, and it's four. What else do we need? We need a quarter cup of basil, which I need to wash all that. I already have the sliced red onions and cherry tomatoes in there. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all blended up. I got this tip a long time ago from Rachel Ray to just have like a bowl for your garbage and it's really handy. I don't do it that often, but when I do, I love it. So I need to just do it more often. But I uh, seasoned this uh, stuff. I can't talk right now, of course, always. Got my ghetto Mexican lid on our blender, and let's see if this works. And I'm gonna move my computer actually to make sure that I don't ruin it. So it worked, but it struggled. So I'm definitely going to be purchasing a food processor in the near future. Because it just like, I had to like mix it, and it was kind of a mess. But this is like amazing. The avocado and the basil mixed together is like for real perfection. It's like feels like a really like light pesto because it has almost all the same ingredients, but really really good. My skeptic here is gonna try the sauce. Mm. 
tastes like pesto pasta. Does it really? Does it really or did you hear me saying that? No, it really does. Taste it again. Why'd you make a funny face when you first tried it? Because it's kind of sour. Is it? Ish. Well, it's going to be mixed and it'll calm down with the pasta, don't you think? Okay, let's do it. You guys, it's seriously so, so yummy. It totally tastes like it has like cream and like, you know how that thickness and creamy flavor, rich flavor of like a really good white sauce? It tastes like that. It's so crazy. I don't know what I'm doing there, but it's really, really good. Definitely recommend it. I'll put the link below. Laura in the kitchen. Amazing. I have this chicken all sliced up really thin. I'm just going to pan sear it in there. And then hopefully everybody will be back for dinner. Yo, what up, y'all? Just got home, and I'm eating. Probably should have cleaned my grill before I started talking. Sarah made this really good. What's this? Pesto and avocado or something? And then some good chicken. What is this, babe? Creamy avocado. What is that? Creamy avocado. Creamy? Laura Vitale Hollow. Laura Vitale Hollow. You guys like it? Mommy hooks it up, huh? Always, does mommy always come through? Mm -hmm. Always hooks everything up, huh? Yep. So, we're just talking right now, have a little dinner. Girls tell me about their day. Yeah, yeah. It's warm over here in Seattle when we moved here. Uh, we didn't know that they don't have air conditioning over here in most places. Like most places over here, they do not have air conditioning, which is crazy. So it's like a little warmer. Your school has air conditioning? No, it doesn't. It doesn't? Well, it doesn't. It was probably wasn't that hot, babe, right? No, at my choir, I was living right here. Wow, really? Yeah, it was really bad. Sorry, babe. Even in the gym room. Ew. I'm all sweaty and smelly. Even your music. Really? Yeah. Sorry, babe. What'd you do today, Belle? Um, you said you draw. You drew. Um, like dragon egg with me. Dragon eggs? Dragon <laughs> eggs. What is that called? What is that? Dragon eggs. I've never heard about it. Is it newer? No, you showed us this. Oh, on Netflix right now they have, um, what's it, How to Train Your Dragon, but they have a Netflix produced series in, uh, called Dragon Edge. Dragon's Edge. Check it out. About to get back on this dinner with the girls. I came to Target to look for some stuff that I need for this weekend and then also maybe try to find a dress or something for Alejandro and I's anniversary dinner. So I'm just looking everywhere and I hope that I find a treasure. These girls are ready to go to bed. When they're fake sleeping again. <laughs> it's so hot. <laughs> Still so hot? Bella, can we sing the goodnight song with sister? Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Good night. Okay now. Good night. Okay. Should we pray for all of our friends that watch the vlog? Yeah. Let's pray for them when we pray right now, okay? Say good night. Wow. Choking, choking. <laughs> They're on your head. <laughs> <laughs> you should have caught that. I did. Where were they? <laughs> Joey, you did a fun